What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out a Mustang GT, but not just any Mustang GT. This one's a special one. So let's hop in the car, get over to the shooting location, and check it out. Let's go. All right guys, we just got to the shooting location and I think he's pulling in right now. So let's go check it out. All right, guys, we are with another Tyler today. Tyler, nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you as well. <laughs> this is Tyler's Mustang GT with a lot of exterior mods here, which is pretty cool. Do you want to walk us through a couple things that you've you've done to the car? I mean, straight off the bat, it looks wider than mine. Just uh, a little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's a 2018 GT uh, PV1. Okay. Um, I have a Shirakai wide body kit, but actually this is not the full kit. It's just the fender flares. Shirakai actually does have a lip and side skirts. Um, sure. So to preface, you know, this is not the entire kit. It's what I not prefer. The kit. Gotcha. Um, GMR GS 107s for the wheels. So those are beautiful, man. And they, they are, are. The faces are powder coated with uh, prismatic powders. Prismatic Universe, I think, is what it's oh. called. Yeah, guys, I'll stop real quick and just see if I can point that out because. This is pretty cool, and it's a detail that I didn't really see right away. I like as I initially looked at the car. Like, yeah, and it's, it's one of those things subtle. like it has been like direct sunlight for you to really see it. Yeah. Otherwise, it just kind of looks like a gloss black. Well, when it's clean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The fronts are 19 by 11 minus 45, if I remember correctly, and then the sure. rears are 19 by 13 minus 40, with I believe it's a 325 35. Some big meats in the back. Yes. Yeah. And I wish. <laughs> I wish now that I'd gone even wider, but yeah, you know, I don't at know. some point you just spend so much money on just like putting rubber on the car to yeah. like not even drive it that much. So you're like, well, you know, yeah. I mean, honestly, I like, yeah, when I saw, it, I was like, how wide are these things? <laughs> because I needed to know. So 13 inches wide. Yes, and actually I think I could have fit 14s now that I have those on there. Um, so I was more of just guesstimating yeah. and like doing the math in my head and like comparing Frames. it to, <laughs> yeah, comparing it to stock wheels. Sure. Um, so I was, I was mostly focused on getting it as pushed out as possible. Okay. Uh, I mean, me. the fitment looks, I mean, it looks really good Thank from you. what I can yeah. see. Mine's not on bags. Either. Oh yeah. And it's on oh, bags, yeah. obviously. Yeah. So it's got an airlift 3P um, system that cool. I installed my, actually I've done all the work myself. The only thing I haven't done is the alignment. Yeah, do that in your, your garage. It might not be so good, but. <laughs> um, so with the, the body kit, I guess that brings me to a question real quick is like, so you had this installed or did you, did I, you? I did it all myself. You did it? Yeah, how, cutting. How bad did it kill you to like, drill into the body. I, I feel like that would be one of my nightmares. <laughs> so this isn't the first body kit I've installed actually. Okay, um, all right. I, I've installed a, a Rocket Bunny kit on a um, BRZ. Before, okay. Which, nice. because that wasn't my car, I didn't care <laughs> that to much. To make it easier. Yeah. And so then going into this, I, I was a lot more confident in what I was doing. Sure. And while it did kind of hurt, because it's like, you just this isn't reversible. Yeah, you know? yeah. At some point, you get to the point where you're modifying a car, and it's not reversible it's just anymore. What it is? Yeah. Um, well, so. it looks awesome. I mean, and I like the the painted look, the the um, the color, the match. body color, yeah. the color match. Yep, I love the color match. I think that's a really nice touch. Raxium taillights 
Okay, I noticed that as soon as I pulled up. Those are pretty cool. Yes, I, I like the, the sleek look. I, I do like my stock taillights. I refuse to get rid of them yeah. because I, I do like how they look as well and they're fairly easy to switch out. So if sure. I want to go back, I can. You can go back and do um, that, yeah. But yeah, it's different. It's yeah. different than what you normally see on the S550s. And then exhaust-wise, I have the Army Tricks Valtronic exhaust. Cool. So I've got a little remote in the cabin. I can just yeah. decide if I want to be loud or not. When I have it closed, it's quieter than the stock muffler. Really? Really? Yeah. Oh wow. So, so if you got to get up early or something. Yeah. And... If I, it, unfortunately, <laughs> Army Tricks they are open valves when you first start the car. Oh. So for about thirty seconds, your car <laughs> is loud, but. So you know, maybe not so much. Go, garage door down, start the car, wait for it to get quiet, and then raise it. <laughs> there you it'll go. be fine. There you There's go. not that much exhaust. Maybe it's not cared. <laughs> <laughs> From the factory, was it an active exhaust? Like, no, did you have the not. active exhaust? No. No. Okay. So okay. actually, it's just basically oh, this see. remote. Uh, you've got an OBD2 dongle that runs through your firewall and there's a little solenoid that connects to the vacuum system. Oh, okay. So it's all vacuum based, which is why yeah. when you first start the car, it's open. You have to have it open. Yeah. I get um, you. All right, so making our way to the front of the car here, I did notice one other thing and that is the custom badges, I think, I, I spotted here, Tyler. They look like they're, what are they made out of metal, you were saying? And it looks like a banana. I yes, believe. so, so. <laughs> so as a joke, when I first got the car, it started getting yeah. called a banana. Thanks. Kind of embraced it and ran with it. So, yeah. uh, which is why we color yeah. matched the, the body kit. And with the logos, I had to take off the factory badging. And so sure. one of my friends just kind of whipped this up one night. And I was sure. like, yeah, that's perfect. Let's do it. <laughs> Sent it off. It's a uh, laser cut titanium. And actually wow. um, those, I have them burnt because I was just messing around. Like, yeah. Worst case, I just burn it back to just being normal sure. silver. Um, I think it looks good like that because it actually kind of has a similar like kind of tie into the wheels a little bit like in yeah, terms of that color. that's what I was going with but right. like I had no clue what I was doing honestly. I was just like a uh, torch. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Some things things just work out you let's know. Let's not burn so. the house down. It'll yeah. be fine. No I like um, it man. So, so cool. yeah so that's how the banana came to be and then after I did those I was like you know what I should get a, like a big banana to put in the. Yeah. The, driver's seat big normally. banana in the passenger seat guys you gotta um, get the shot of that <laughs> yeah so very cool kind of moving along to the front of the car i know there was a couple things that you did up here it looks like it's kind of a, a, a custom gt uh style grill with the mesh inserts i just wanted to say that i think looks really awesome um yeah i don't remember who that's from but it was okay, yeah. just a cheap mesh grill that said it worked for the car and you now a couple hours looks later like it work it it looks good. I liked how it looked. Yeah. With it. Oh, it looks really cool. And then actually, it's a funny story. The, sure. the orange or yellow bar. Um, yeah. What is it? What are we? Crash bar? So, <laughs> no. So if, if you notice on like big trucks, they always have the indicator lights on the top of the cab. Yes. It's because the car is over, I believe it's 80 inches wide. Okay. My car is 80, I think it's 87 in the rear. So technically <laughs> speaking, I have to have clearance indicators. Technically, that obviously. Is an awesome. Who cares? <laughs> Nobody actually cares, but just in no. case I were to get pulled over, <laughs> so much like I you're too wide, have sir. DOT legal because they are DOT approved lighting. That is hilarious. As a clearance indicator. Wow. To, I would have never known that. Yeah, <laughs> that, just, that is it, cool. It's one of those like, nobody's going to pull me over for it, but no. that could be something that they tried to add on at some point. It makes sense. Like how tent normally is here. Like, <laughs> yeah. you never really get pulled over for tent, but you will get a ticket for it if they pull you over. Yep, yep. Um, I just visualized the officer like, sure, you're too wide. And you're like, hey, I got I got lights to prove it, man. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually going to work, but like, it took me an hour to do that, so why not? It looks good, man. I was curious. I thought, honestly, I thought it was like some sort of aftermarket crash bar at first, but. It's just, it's literally zip tied onto the stock crash bar. Boom. All right, guys, we're in the car now. Um, we are uh, gonna take this thing for a little ride and uh, see what it's all about here. Uh, one thing I noticed straight away is that this Tyler has the digital display, which is pretty sweet. I've wanted that in my car, but uh, unfortunately we got the stock gauges in mine. But uh, yeah, listen to it, guys. It sounds a little bit different than the EcoBoost. I'll give it that.
<laughs> so as far as power goes, this thing you said is pretty stock, right? Yes, it okay. doesn't have a tune. It doesn't really have any power adders or anything. Okay, just the intake, I guess you said. You yeah, intake, it right? has the intake and that's really it. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, man, I, I'm curious, like as far as the power, as as far as torque goes and everything, obviously compared to the EcoBoost, because it feels like in the EcoBoost you get like you get your torque kind of down low and then it just like falls flat on its face as you start going up, you know? Yeah, I've, I've noticed with this one, once you break like 6,000 RPMs or so and yeah. say 80 miles an hour, it kind of starts to fall off pretty quickly. Does it? Okay. Yeah, but I... I bet it pulls harder than mine though. So I, I, would hope. <laughs> I would hope so as well. <laughs> And I gotta say, I love the seats. He's got Recaros in here. I don't know if you can see it, but well, these are, are super comfortable. Recaros, factory Recaros. Yeah. I just have the uh, like the standard, whatever, the premium leather ones or whatever. But yeah, these are very comfortable. As soon as I got in, I was like, these are nice. <laughs> that was one of the things when I was looking for one. I, I had to get the Recaros. Like, That's awesome. I didn't even sign them. I just knew I wanted them at like, the time. And check the box. Now that this car had everything that it had, I am so glad that it did that. Are we going to Mexico? That's what I was thinking. That was yeah. good I couldn't tell what kind of car that was. I know. Second. You gotta look. In Mexico, it, they're it, all over the place. Especially around this part of Mexico. Yeah. 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 It's amazing how close Mexico is here in Georgia. <laughs> I mean, in Mexico. No. <laughs> I was always fearing this day that I would ride in a GT because I... Yeah, because I'll get back in mine and be like, oh, shoot, I'm going to need to go E30 or something. To... <laughs> so funny you mentioned that. So my girlfriend's uncle has a, an S197, so it's a Gen okay. 2, but he has it built for and tuned for 850. Oh my power. God. So, I bet it's just crazy. When we were visiting, he took me for a ride. And that's it, huh? And uh, let's just say... <laughs> I, I've convinced this myself I need things. Yeah. <laughs> it's all relative. <laughs> That's the hard part. Yep. Once you get used to a power level, you always want more. At least that's how most of us are anyway. So I'm getting close to that point right now. And See, you might have just pushed part. me over the edge. <laughs> Is any car I've ever owned prior to this car has yeah. been sub 300 horsepower. Okay. So, so when you got this, when I got sure you this, were like, it was like a major change yeah. that I was not ready for. <laughs> and now, now I can see that I've had this for a year. I'm like, hmm, you might need a, a VMP or something on it. Yeah, I don't know. Just a little bit more. Dude, very Nothing cool. Crazy. I know, that's the thing. It's like we'll never be content as car people. That's it. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. Tyler, thanks so much for uh, meeting me tonight and showing me uh, your car. This thing is awesome. And uh, I'm not going to lie, it does uh, it does kind of make me want a GT now. But <laughs> I'm going to have to put that aside for a little while. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, Tyler, if they want to find more about you and the car, uh, where can they go? Uh, my Instagram is just T underscore L-E-R underscore C. Perfect. I'll, I'll put it right here for you guys so you guys can find that. I'll put a link to it in the video description as well. If you guys like what you saw today, make sure to subscribe. And uh, if you like the banana, make sure to like the video so Tyler over here knows. <laughs> You guys have a great day. Thanks again, man. Yep. And uh, we will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.